CoQ10 and high blood pressure, prevention and treatment. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, a number of studies show that coenzyme Q10 supplementation lowers high blood pressure in a high percentage of cases, but you need the right dosage. Also, CoQ10 works best when it's combined with the herb Hawthorne. So, both CoQ10 and Hawthorne have been proven to reduce high blood pressure. So, how does it work exactly? Well, both CoQ10 and Hawthorne improve what's called endothelial function. I know it's a big word, but here's what it translates into this. That when those nutrients are present in the bloodstream, it allows blood vessels to relax so blood can flow more easily. There's, there's less resistance to the blood flow. So that reduces the pressure of the blood flow itself. Now, when you reduce that pressure, then the heart doesn't have to beat so hard because the resistance to the flow is going to be less, so the heart doesn't beat so hard. So the result is that you lower both the systolic blood pressure and the diastolic blood pressure. So if a doctor says to you, your blood pressure is 120 over 70, the 120 is the systolic pressure and the diastolic pressure is the 70. So the systolic pressure is what is the force of contraction of the heart? Well, that, that pressure is going to be lower if, it, if there's less resistance to the blood flow, the heart doesn't have to beat as hard. So CoQ10 and Hawthorne decrease systolic blood pressure. The diastolic pressure is how much resistance is there in the arteries to the blood flow. And if you relax those, the muscular coat of the arteries, the blood flows more easily. There's less resistance. The diastolic pressure also goes down. So CoQ10 and Hawthorne lower both the systolic and the diastolic blood pressure in people whose blood pressure is high. And there's some additional benefits. CoQ10 and Hawthorne also open up the blood vessels in, or in the heart itself, the coronary blood vessels that bring oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle, improving blood flow, which reduces risk of heart attack and angina. Now the problem is that as we get older, the body makes less coenzyme Q10. And also many drugs that people take can deplete CoQ10 from the body. So experts suggest that after age 40 or 45, you take CoQ10 as a supplement, and I would suggest you take that along with Hawthorne. Now, if you have high blood pressure, you need therapeutic doses of CoQ10 and Hawthorne. So it's all explained in Chapter 5 of my book, The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. Now, you can download the chapter for free if you just click, click on the link below. Now, because CoQ10 deficiency eventually affects everyone as they get older, this is information that everyone should have access to. So everyone should really download that chapter and read it. Because if you take the right amount of CoQ10 and Hawthorne, it will reduce your risk of congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, and some other heart ailments. So I suggest you download the chapter. Now, MachinoHealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, and videos I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. On my teaching materials and uh, my, uh, my research review articles are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.